Hi, welcome to NWTV's first business networking report. We're here at the Community Business Bridge networking event being held at the Hilton Hotel in Liverpool One. We're going to be chatting to some of the businesses attending today's meeting, but first, a quick chat with Ian Denny from Community Business Bridge, who helps to organise this excellent event. So Ian, I believe your event has a unique approach to business networking. It has, yeah. Uh, when the recession struck, this about three years ago, we thought, wouldn't it be a great idea if we help businesses by finding them a customer first? And as a small thank you for us finding them a customer, they make a small donation. Wow, OK, and what sort of charities do you help? Well, we have one charitable fund where everybody puts the donations into, but each individual company, if they've got a preferred charity that they prefer to support, let us know and we'll make sure that the donation is relayed on to them. Super, and how long have you been doing this um, community bridge? Uh, it started as a project uh, inside a local charity called Nugent Care. This was around three years ago. Uh, that's about three years in October this year. And it's just grown and grown. Uh, I think the longer the recession's gone on, the, the, the more the demand for our services has come about. OK, and here today at the Hilton Hotel there's about 80 people. Is that normal? Yeah, it's anywhere between 80 and 100. We had to lower the numbers today because uh, for, for catering purposes, really, because the Hilton very kindly offered to put us up. Uh, but it's, it's all about, uh, it was actually a, a very useful incongruent contrast because Chip Butties and Networking at the Hilton, they wanted it to show that they're approachable, which they are, and they can put on a great show for anyone. And uh, we wanted to give people a bit of a different venue and a bit of a treat with some posh Chip Butties. So great, fantastic. So how did you come up with the table, the, the table idea with five non-contrasting businesses? Well, the idea really is that for people who've never been to a networking event before, it's important that they feel welcome. So instead of tackling a room of around 100 people at once, it's much more manageable if they've only got a tour to around six people on the table. And there's, there's method in the madness as well, because with six people, you do get to know them a little bit more. You can ask them specific questions. It's a lot more relaxed for everyone, and it's a lot less daunting than 100 people to tackle all at once. So particularly for those who've never been to networking events before, it's fantastic. So the future is going to be in the Hilton or are you going to find other places? We're hopefully going to move it around. Whoever will, be, will host us will, uh, will, will go to them. Uh, as long as it can, it can host around up to about 100 people with tables of around six, then we're happy to uh, move it around and give people variety. OK, so what can people expect who are maybe new to networking? Well, new to networking, it's a nice, gentle introduction. Uh, it's also a great way to win clients because everybody has a cost when it comes to finding a new customer, whether it's uh, nowadays it could be pay-per-click advertising on Google, so it might cost you an average of £200 to find a new client, it could be an advert in the paper. So basically instead of paying out uh, marketing costs, obviously we're going to still have them, why not make a small donation in return for us finding you a client? Fantastic. Well, I find it really useful. Um, you know, it's a free networking event, so it's been great for me. So thanks very much for your time, Ian. Thank you. Hello, what's your name? My name's Amy Binning. And the name of your company? It's Fresh Real Mortgages. Um, yeah, mortgages. So uh, can you give us a unique selling point of your company? We don't charge fee to our, our clients, and we basically do a full fact find on them. So we, we help them with literally everything from wills, from protection. We just basically help them with all their needs to be honest so even though we say fresh field mortgages we do um, life cover critical illness cover um, we help them uh, with investments and um, wills and things like that and we don't charge a fee really no fee no fee they can walk into the uh, into the office we can do home visits uh, if they just want to get advice um, to see whether they can get on the property ladder if it's a first-time buyer or it's somebody who wants to build a portfolio we can help them with that as well and it's, it's good for actually retired people who, who haven't got an income um, and they actually want to get into building a, a buy-to-let portfolio. Uh, there's no, no income required, and we can put them in the right direction as well. That's marvellous. And have you been to the Community Bridge Networking before? I have, yes. I've been to quite a few. I'm quite well known. Um, <laughs> some people call me the networking tart. But, <laughs> <laughs> but no, they are really, really useful for contacts. Yeah, and have you got a lot of benefit out of the, the network? Yes. Um, a lot of, like I said, really good contacts. Um, and I think it's one of them where you've got to come a few times to build your network and build a trust in people. So it's not a case of you come once and then that's it. You think, oh, I didn't get business out of it. You've got to kind of build that relationship. So you've got to come to a few of them. Yeah, they are very useful. That's smashing. Thank you, Amy. Cheers. Hi, lovely lady. What's your name? My name's Corinne, Corinne Sankey, and I'm from Where There's a Will. Okay, and Where There's a Will, what, what, what does that company do? 
Trying to take a guess. <laughs> <laughs> you make wills? That's right. Wills, lasting power of attorney, family protection trusts, probate, that kind of stuff. Okay, now how long have you been doing that? Uh, the company's been running for two years now. Okay, and a unique selling point to your business? Um, I think really approachability and the idea of giving people peace of mind, really. Um, the business model works whereby we go out to the client, takes two visits, the first one to take instructions, which will take, say, about an hour initially, go away, draft the documents, the wills, or whatever document it may be, and then go back a week or a fortnight later, go through the documents, do the attestation and signing. And we'll kind of have will, will travel, so... Uh, Distance is no object. Get lots of work down south and the north and kind of in between, really, you know. So I think it's the convenience. I think it's one of those things that's such a sensitive issue. Mm -hmm. And if you can do it in the comfort of your own home or workplace or back garden or wherever you feel comfortable, I think that's really got to sort of ease the, the worry about it. And it's true, 70% of the population don't have a will. Mm. That's awful, isn't it? And could you tell us about the community bridge? Have you been before? Yeah, I have. I'm one of the partners in Community Bridge. In fact, I think it's brilliant and it's really, really grown. And it's great to think that you can do business in the locality and you can put something back into the community and to the charities and whatever. I think it's brilliant. It's great. So have you got any uh, names of charities you've helped recently? Oh, well, we help charities really across the board, you know, sort of um, remember a charity. We're always donating sort of to charities, helping people with legacies to charities as well. Um, Nugent Kerr, we, we donate to um, overseas charities, you know, with any of our trusts and anything like that. There's an automatic um, donation that goes to charities. So there's, there's a, a vast amount of charities that we support, in fact. So. Well, thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Okay. Hello, what's your name? Hello Alan, I'm Dave Moorcroft. And what do you do Dave? My company, the Davidus Group, is in the health and nutrition sector and I specialise in pure aloe and beehive natural products. So I'm in the look good, feel good and do your good business. Oh super, so um, you've been, how long have you been in business? Uh, 12 months now, so uh, I've started off and uh, even in this recession the business is doing really well. Fantastic, so the health sector itself is doing, is doing well? Yeah, it's a booming sector because obviously people are living longer and want to look after themselves before, you know, illness or, or something serious sets in. So the products and business I'm in help people, uh, their health and well-being. So it's a great business to be in at the moment. Great. And you've been to this um, Community Bridge networking before? Yeah, this is my second visit. Um, previous one in Anderson's Bar and I found them really, really good for my business, yeah. Yeah, so have you had uh, sort of any leads so far or have done some work for charity or something? Um, I've done some work for a charity, not for um, directly out of these meetings, but I've done some fundraising for Macmillan Nurses because some of the products that we uh, produce and work with are uh, recommended by Macmillan Nurses because the purity of the products. Okay, and could you give us a slogan for your business? Uh, my business is helping you look good, feel good and do you good. Thank you very much indeed for your time. And your name, sir? It's Steve Bergen. And your name of your company? It's Icon Business Solutions. And what do you do, sir? Um, we're business advisors for um, small and medium businesses who want the system to grow. We want businesses to grow around Liverpool and Merseyside um, without actually killing themselves in the process. OK, super. Have you got a unique selling point for your business? Well, principally, I'm the man on the ground for Merseyside. Although it's a franchise business, um, I'm the man that anybody around Merseyside will see. Um, but we do have a, a large back office behind us, so that's, our, if you like, our USP. Okay, and your website? Website www.iconbusinesssolutions.com And have you been to the Community Bridge before? I have, yes, several times. And what did you get from it? Um, got a lot of new contacts, um, and, and the, the main thing is the, the, the mixture between the business and the, and the charity, charitable side, and I think a lot of people come to these events because of that. Fantastic, thank you very much for your time. Super, what's your name, please? Um, Hazel Dybull. And what's the name of your company? Um, I work for Jackson & Cantor Quality Solicitors. Okay, and what's different about your solicitors? Uh, one of our unique selling points would be that we are a law firm that's open on a Saturday, um, so 10 till 4 people can come. We find if most people working Monday to Friday can come in and sign documents on a Saturday, or people can come in for a coffee and a chat on a Saturday, which lots of law firms don't do that. Sure. So we could offer um, to work for any, anybody Monday to Friday, work remotely, and then they can come and sign the documents on Saturdays. Wow. Which is but, you know, helpful for them. Very helpful. So have you been to the community networking before? Yes. 
Okay, yes. and what, how did you find it? Um, really interesting, a real mix of people, and I think it's a really helpful. We like the idea of putting something back into the community, um, something that Jackson and Cantor um, like to do. So if, if we pick up any leads, then we can offer something back Great. into for a charity. Super. And I imagine you've done other ne networks before. How does this compare? Uh, I think it compares. I'm quite new to, to networking, but I would say that it's, it's probably the best one that I come to once a month. Fantastic. Thank you very much indeed for your time. Hello, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name's Hiran Patel. And what do you do, Hiran? Uh, I'm a mobile complementary therapist, uh, predominantly uh, workplace well-being. Um, we go into businesses and do we improve morale and improve productivity, focus on the positives and everything else sorts itself out. Um, most of the stuff that we do is on-site massage treatments, everything from a 15-minute back, neck and shoulder massage to a 15-minute Indian head massage to a 15-minute foot massage, um, all, in the, all in your premises and uh, away from the workstation. And uh, it's all about the gratitude attitude. That's, uh, that's what we like to focus on and that's uh, what we do with businesses. Super. And you've been to this networking event before? Yeah, I've been about three or four times now. Um, thoroughly enjoy it and hence I'm back here again today. Super. And have you had benefit of it? Um, I have. I've had a few introductions and I'm currently in a couple of meetings and a couple of talks. And, you know, business doesn't always get done on the first meeting. So uh, we just keep on going and uh, keep on gaining, as they like to say. <laughs> Super. Thanks very much for your time. Hi. Could you tell us your name and your company? Uh, I'm Julie Kirby and I'm an independent team member for Synergy Worldwide. Synergy Worldwide. And tell us what they do. We distribute a health product, which is ProRG9+, Plus, which clears out the cardiovascular system. And do you sell a lot of that? Yes, I do, actually. It's going very well. Okay. And you've been to this Community Bridge networking event before? I have. Yes, I have. It's a really good event, and uh, we meet a lot of people, and it's a good support network alongside making all the business contacts. Really Great. And have you got a lot of benefit from it? Definitely. I love it. Okay, thank you very much for your time. Uh, hello, sir, what's your name? My name is Tim Bold. And what's your company? It's MICT. And what does MICT do? We're a Microsoft Gold support company. Uh, we offer impartial advice on IT for small companies or charities. Okay, and have you been to this networking event before? Yes, but by ninth time, I think. Ninth time, so have you met lots of other business people you could do business with? It's been very beneficial, yes. Uh, it's more informal than other network meetings I've been to, and uh, the chip butties always go down well. Super. And a, a unique selling point of your business? The impartiality, really. Uh, we're covered by Microsoft, so we go into companies and effectively root out what's, what's the best solution for them. Maybe not what the financial side is, but just working out are they using systems properly. Uh, Microsoft has a wealth of knowledge and we're there to pass it on to people. Fantastic, thanks very much for your time. Cheers. Hello sir, what's your name? My name's Martin Fletcher. And what's the name of your company? Arrow Events. Arrow Events, what do you do? Anything from the, the hire of a single DJ for Antonelli's 80th birthday party <laughs> <laughs> to a major, you know, the organisation of major concerts, corporate events and anything else that can be thought of really because it's all the same principle really. Okay, summer festivals, that kind of thing? That can be done at a push. I mean, that can't be just me. You okay. know, that, that you need a team of 20 or 30 people at least to do that. Okay, um, super. But it can be done, yeah. Right, super. And you've been to these community networking events before? I've been to one. This is my second. Yeah. And I've, I've been roped into hosting it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's worth it. Like, it's a good cause as well, because they give some of the money to charity and everything. That's the whole point, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. No problem. Okay, thanks very much indeed for your time. Okay, hello. What's your name? Roxanne Graham. And what do you do, Roxanne? I'm the Business Relationship Manager at Hard Day's Night Hotel. Oh, the new hotel in Liverpool. Oh, yeah, it's been four years, but still relatively new, yeah. <laughs> OK. So tell us what's special about the Hard Day's Night. It is Beatles-inspired, which pulls a lot of sort of international guests to us, and they're always very interested to see the interiors. Um, it's a Grade 2 listed building, which has been sympathetically restored to the tune of £26 million, so it's got a wow factor attached to it, uh, and it's four-star luxury. Wow, and what's, what's the best thing on the menu? Oh, there's so much. much um, <laughs> we have the afternoon teas at the moment, which are going down well. You can have champagne with that as well. Wow. Um, and we do a la carte, obviously, in the restaurant. So, yeah. Super. It's, it's all practice. And have you been to the community networking before? I haven't, no. First time. First time, okay. So, what are you expecting? Um, 
relaxed, uh, but you know, networking where you make some good contacts. Basically, you know, a lot of these uh, types of events you don't meet really appropriate, but you never know who they're going to introduce you to in the future. So it's always, you know, it's worth meeting new people. Just get sat around the right people on the table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Hello, sir. And your name? Bill Carter. And what's the name of your company? It's In Express Liverpool. Okay. And what do you do? Uh, we're a courier brokers uh, and global partners with uh, DHL, but we also work with um, TNT, FedEx, UPS, and on a domestic level, we work with UK Mail. Okay, and what's a unique selling point of your business? Our unique selling point is that of all the carriers that are in the world, they can only offer the service of, of each themselves. But we have uh, the possibility of offering you DHL or TNT or FedEx or UPS and their unique services. Super. And have you been to the community networking before? No, this is our first time here. Okay, how did you find it? I thought it was really good. Okay, and did you meet anybody you might be able to do business with? Yes, uh, there was on our table, there was seven of us all together, and I think uh, I've got three referrals already. Fantastic. Well, thanks very much indeed for your time. Okay, you're more than welcome. Hello, nice lady, what's your name? Sharon Morgan. And what's the name of your company? Base Communications Limited. Okay, and what do you do? Um, we deal with business mobile contracts, business landlines, vehicle tracking and telephone systems. Okay, and what makes you different from other companies? We offer an account management service where we manage your monthly bills online. So basically, if somebody is going to go over on their usage, we can alert you so you don't end up with a shock bill. Wow, and can you um, give us any companies you're working with at the moment? Um, we work with the Liverpool Chamber of Commerce. We work with Avanti Waste, and we also work with S Norton, which I'm sure everybody's heard of. Fantastic. And have you been to this um, community networking before? Yes, I have. And how did you find it? Yeah, I find it good. It's, it's nice to meet like-minded business people, uh, yeah, meet new businesses, put yourself out there, a bit more brand awareness. Yeah, it's great. And it's great if you like chips. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much. A chip on my lips is an inch on my hips. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> and your name, sir? Tom Goodale. Okay, and what do you do, Tom? I'm a storyteller. A storyteller. So what kind of stories do you tell? Uh, traditional tales, anything from uh, Greek myths to Grimm's fairy tales, longer ones like Beowulf or Gawain and the Green Knight, to all sorts of ages, children, adults, weddings, corporate dinners, schools, libraries, historic sites, anywhere where people want to be entertained, really. Oh, super. And you do weddings? Yes. Oh, super. Okay, so do you come to the community networking before? Yes, I have done. How did you find it? It's excellent. It's a great mix of formal and informal networking. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Tom. And your name, sir? I'm Keith Lyons. And what do you do? I'm a private investigator. What's the name of your company? Uh, it's Covert Surveillance and Investigations UK Limited. And what's the main role of your company? Uh, we do private investigator work for solicitors, the courts, insurance companies, debt recovery companies. Okay. So have you been to this networking before? Uh, yeah, we've been to the Andersons one. This first time at the Hilton, though. Okay, how do you find it? Uh, enjoyable. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of new faces, and uh, a lot of new business. So do you think it will benefit your business? Oh, absolutely. Super. Well, thank you very much indeed for your time. Thank you. And your name? My name is Agnes. Agnes Fitzgerald. Okay, and what do you, what's your name of your company, Agnes? The company is called Linkage Hotels and Apartments, Alan. And what do you do? I organise accommodation for people who are up and down the country with no time to organise it for themselves. Okay, is this sort of builders, those kinds of people? I do it for a lot of different people, but very much so with the construction company, because I find that while they could be wasting valuable time looking for accommodation in areas they're not familiar with, okay. I save them a lot of time, I save them a lot of money, and I save them a lot of heartache. I do all the research and I find the accommodation, be it a hotel, an apartment or a hostel, within the area they are working in, within their budget. Fantastic. And this networking event, Community Bridge, how did you find it? I find it absolutely fabulous. I've known Ian Denny for some time, going back a lot of t years. He's been doing an awful lot of different networking for a lot of charities. The event itself is amazing. 120 people here tonight, I believe and all very, very very well organized you get your time at the beginning for free networking which i enjoy doing because then i can speak to who i choose with however thereafter you've got the more organized event whereby ian and his team have already set up the tables for me to spend half an hour 
with the ideal companies suitable for my business. Brilliant. Fantastic. And everybody on the table is not competitive, are they? No, we're all very different companies, very different professions. However, the important link, and this is where Ian really spends a lot of time, is that the companies there, they are suited to each other. They can uh, interlink very well. Uh, like tonight, for example, we have the Royal Hospital at my table, and I've got accommodation just right the way across from the Royal Hospital, uh, some apartments there that we want to let to the hospital. So, fabulous for me. It's been great for you. Thanks very much for your time, Agnes. Thank you.